So good morning, everybody, good morning. and thank you for being here. I apologize for the short delay in starting the program. So we were expecting many more people to come. I think they're still on the way, but we'll uh, get started. So, uh, so before we get started, you know, we, I need to wake all of you up. Okay. So can I request some people to move in the front? We need four people per table. Now you can decide which three other people you want to sit with, but we need four people per table. Or if you can persuade your neighbors to move, that's okay. <laughs> so come. So I think this table only has two. This table has two. So I need some people. Come, come, come. So okay. So fine. So, okay. So we are nearly there. So we'll get a couple of people as they come in to. Thank you so much. So I'm delighted to welcome you all on behalf of ITNX Magazine, Dimension Data, Cisco, and EMC to this IT strategy workshop on Cloud, the next AC step. Uh, in today's workshop, we'll be looking at uh, ways to plan, use, implement, manage, and increase the efficiency of the enterprise IT assets, and to look at some of the challenges around uh, you know, achieving these objectives. So we'll look at how to solve practical problems in deploying cloud applications, particularly the in, on the infrastructure side. So let me just quickly summarize what we will be doing today. So we'll start off with a series of uh, technology stations that will provide you with some overview of the technology and uh, services that are useful for implementing cloud solutions in the enterprise. And these sessions will be led by our uh, workshop leaders for today, uh, Mr. Narendra Ahn, who is the head of solutions and delivery at Dimension Data, and by Mr. Prashant Advani, cloud solutions architect from Cisco India. And once these sessions are completed, this is about uh, an hour, they will take these sessions. Once these sessions are completed, uh, you will receive the case study problem for today that you need to solve. Okay. Um, so the talks and the presentations that these two gentlemen will be doing will uh, give you the guidelines that, or the knowledge as to how you can use them to solve the case study. Okay. And so each table will be a team. And you need to solve the problem as a team. Now you can all decide to negotiate which team you want to be in. And of course, we have some fantastic prizes at the end of the day for all the teams and the solutions that they present. OK, so uh, once we get to the uh, case study uh, portion, I'll just explain to you how this is to be done. So right now, let's get on with the uh, technology solution sessions. And the first session will be taken by Mr. Prashant Advani, who is a cloud solution architect with Cisco India. And he is responsible for delivering the Cisco uh, strategic cloud roadmap, including insight on future projects and direction on the Cisco data center cloud products and solutions. He is an expert in quantifying the economic and environmental benefits of converged cloud solutions uh, through green IT, energy efficiency, power and cooling savings. Prior to joining Cisco, Prashant has worked with VMware and Wipro Infotech, and he has nearly 15 years of industry experience in various capacities, including system engineering and consulting, and he has been involved in many critical deployments. So please welcome him on stage, Mr. Prashant Advani. Clients get it, but they're facing a barrage of vague, my cloud does everything offers. It's now time for you to lead the discussion and take the complexity out of the cloud. So who delivers an integrated public and private cloud experience? Who provides a seamless solution of infrastructure, virtualization, software, and service orchestration? Who offers industry-leading compute, network, storage, and security technologies? Dimension Data and Cisco. Dimension Data and Cisco's cloud strategy are unified, so the value of our joint partnership is clear. Our clients need to reduce costs, increase profitability, improve efficiency, and support innovative business models. Cisco's world of many clouds brings together the intelligence of the network, the power of the data center, and the flexibility of cloud applications to meet those needs. Dimension Data delivers those Cisco technologies in a cloud solution that helps simplify and accelerate cloud adoption for enterprise and service provider clients. Dimension Data's Managed Cloud Platform, or MCP, delivers a compelling and assured cloud experience with application services delivered to the world of many clouds, anywhere, anytime, on any device. In fact, Dimension Data was named a leader in Gartner's most recent cloud infrastructure as a service, Magic Quadrant. 
Unlike other IaaS providers, Dimension Data's managed cloud platform carries the Cisco Power designation for both public and private environments, guaranteeing a proven customer experience built on Cisco. Dimension Data's leadership position provides a great competitive opportunity for Cisco. Dimension Data is the only Cisco partner that appears in the Gartner Leaders Quadrant for both cloud IaaS and communications outsourcing and professional services. The fact is, clients can look to service providers for cloud services or systems integrators for IT services, but they're engaging Dimension Data to deliver both. And now, Cisco's Salesforce is compensated for our clients' consumption of Dimension Data's cloud services, so migrating customers to a Dimension Data MCP is win all around. Take a look at how the Dimension Data MCP architecture leverages Cisco technology. The network layer of Dimension Data's MCP is currently built on the Catalyst 6509, migrating soon to Nexus. For the compute layer, Dimension Data relies exclusively on Cisco UCS for all future deployments. Dimension Data's managed cloud platform leverages Cisco's technology partner ecosystem, including EMC and NetApp for storage, VMware for virtualization and industry-leading operating systems. Cisco's application control engine provides the security demanded in a cloud environment. And once again, Cisco and Dimension Data are better together, joining Dimension Data's cloud control orchestration with Cisco's CIAC automation to provide the world's most powerful and easily managed cloud solution. This integrated architecture enables the launch of planned future cloud services, including Cisco HCS for unified communications and telepresence as a service for video collaboration. What does selling Dimension Data's Cisco-powered cloud services mean to you? An open door to serve the gamut of customer needs, from low-cost platform-based web services up to public, private, and hosted premium cloud services. Sorry. So, morning, everyone. And that was just to uh, set the stage as to what we're going to be talking about today. The reason why I'm here is essentially going to talk about, lay the foundation as to what uh, our partnership in terms of Dimension Data and Cisco is doing in this whole cloud solution. And also, you know, set your thinking process into, you know, what we're going to uh, follow on with the workshop, right, in terms of the whole cloud adoption and how, uh, what are the key solution aspects to it. So uh, this is where we're going to be uh, stressing, this is going to be my major part of my session today in terms of what are the opportunities for you as an enterprise exists out there, what are the key drivers, and uh, what are the areas that Cisco is uh, leveraging or offering our customers from a, a private, public, and a hybrid model, right? So uh, if you, if you uh, look a few years back, last decade, uh, when I was with VMware, I mean, 2000, late 2006, uh, customers were really glapping, should I virtualize, should I go ahead, should I try it, is it being tested? But now it's pretty much there. Everyone in your organization, you've adopted virtualization and you're running critical, mission critical workloads on it. Pretty much given, right? So cloud is here to stay. Cloud is the next disruptive technology or the better way of working for your IT that is available to you today. And most of you all have attended various analyst events and uh, uh, peers events and clearly it's understood that cloud is a better way of you know delivering uh, your technology today and you know transitioning you to be a more a business partner to your business than be uh, just a laid back cost center right and what we've seen is the uh, customers who have uh, from a business standpoint have uh, adopted cloud as you know accepted early on are reaping the benefits today Right? and they've been able to make their business more agile versus the ones who are having a stagnant business model are now or probably playing the wait and watch game are going to be playing catch up to this uh, are, are really going to lose out because of the complexities and it's very difficult when your competition is already ahead of you in this game right and by 2020 it's going to be the complete era of digital transformation where everything is going to be automated we're already hearing from the analysts of what Gartner is saying on the Internet of Things and Internet of Everything, where there are more sensors being put into every device and a lot of data being generated as to 
the next level of big data analytics that is happening out there, which obviously uh, will be extended to the enterprise. And this you're seeing today, when you go back to your home, your devices are already powered with sensors, they're connected. You can check updates, you can, you know, most of your devices at home are already Wi-Fi enabled. And these are the ones that are throwing a lot of data in terms of how you're able to manage a smart home. If you look at a smart workplace, most of the uh, customers out there have already uh, embarked on this journey of the Internet of Things, wherein they're using this data to track, like I have a customer in UK who is tracking the data that, you know, shipment of trucks or customers can track the delivery online and the analytics use that in terms of further making their business uh, decisions as to where they should be opening the new store and you know where they should be running the next marketing campaign right and and if you look at it smart cars i mean this is again a reality which is uh, uh, also be going to be hitting india as well in terms of how we are making more devices connected in fact uh, we just did a use case with one of the refineries in terms of their whole gas pipeline and how we've laid the sensors and we're collecting the data and making their delivery more efficient, right? And this is happening in India, right? So you may not be part of the, uh, you know, this is a different side, plant side, manufacturing. We have various good use cases on the uh, uh, medical care industry. So there's a lot of it that's happening out there. But even from a data center standpoint where today we are offering a solution where if a person is opening your rack door, the camera turns towards it and you're getting alerts as to how many hours was the door open, what are the level of security. So those are the things that we are offering today. And, and as you would have heard, cloud is really here to stay because it simply gives you ease of you know, operations, better agility. And obviously, you know, uh, from flipping your CapEx and OpEx equation which exists right now, most of your IT budgets are right now going and just maintaining or, you know, uh, on your existing IT infra, uh, investment that you've done, maintaining, keeping the lights on, and there's very little innovation that you are able to, you know, put your dollars to. But what's happening from a CEO's level is they're wanting to capture the next market opportunity and are looking towards IT to help them, you know, get that or a faster way to deliver that, right? And men, more often that we are seeing is that CEO is now bypassing the CIO in terms of taking some of those digital transformation decisions because IT is not able to keep up, right? There are uh, customers who we've seen departments swiping their credit cards to, you know, roll out the next application uh, without, you know, checking with IT because obviously with IT comes the whole four to six weeks, you know, uh, delivery. And, you know, they're looking at uh, transformation from, you know, months to minutes. So that's something which are the drivers that are really uh, customers are looking at moving towards a cloud-based solution. And obviously, uh, the experience, security being uh, one of, was one of the biggest concerns, which we've laid to rest in terms of I'm going to be talking about as to how we are offering solutions to customers, which basically they're used to a certain level of Cisco standards which they've in, enjoyed in their uh, existing data center. And they want to extend that same kind of security and kind of uh, uh, standards from compliance in their you know, hybrid model as well, right? So that's what we're giving them today. And if you look at it, the expectations, I mean, when you talk to some of the people, I mean, what about security? How, what about my data? So all this has really evolved, you know? And we as Cisco and the uh, other industries, we had thought of this years before even we are offering this solution to you, right? We have our engineering, we have redesigned the architecture such that we are giving security at the ASIC level, at the hypervisor level, at the OS level. A lot of things are there for you to, you know, get the assurance and confidence like this is an easier way to move forward. And there is a big market opportunity out there. I mean, by, you know, there's, there's enough statistics and data out there for you, know, you to understand that how your peers are already moved ahead. Some of you may be in the pilot stage adopting, trying to figure out which are the applications that I want to move to the cloud first. And some of them are already moved uh, completely to the cloud. So clearly, uh, the benefits are there. One is uh, from the unpredicted demand from business you know the market, India market, with the 
dollar to rupee de you know uh, ratio how is changing market has become very volatile i don't know how which is my next threat to my business how do i tackle that business how do i survive and thrive you know in this uh, dynamic world right so those are the things which clearly uh, uh, from a cloud perspective are able to give you that bursting on demand provisioning a lot of flexibility which obviously from a cfo would like you know uh, which adds to your bottom line as well as to your top line and if you see from a data that we do from a detailed survey across our customers in the globe is over 2/3 of data center traffic by 2017 is going to be the cloud data center traffic and this is not the traditional traffic this is includes voice your uh, ip your uh, telepresence a lot of the cloud enabled applications that are going to be driving this traffic and and in terms of the workload uh, we are seeing that we in we are in 2014 we are already going to cross the 50% mark in terms of the virtualized or the workloads that are going to be running out of a cloud data center right so this is just a thought that you should leave behind in terms of what's happening across and how you should be adopting or changing uh, the environment in your enterprise right so if you if you look at what cisco is offering our customers is clearly we've heard both from a cloud supply side as well as a cloud demand side of things where we've taken those concerns what our customers are asking when they're consuming cloud services as well as the you know partners who are delivering cloud services both from a service provider standpoint right so this this is something which really uh, sets the stage in terms of our vision and what we're doing so if you're looking at from a cloud provider side we are clearly giving them a detailed approach to give a you know scaling is one thing performance and you know how do i manage network becomes even more crucial in my cloud environment how do i ensure that my underlying architecture is able to take care of those set of concerns which typically the enterprise enjoys in their uh, private data center at the same time looking at uh, some of the uh, hosted collaboration solutions telepresence on the cloud which is increasing my communication my employee productivity even further than before right so this is the approach which we are giving to our customers today and uh, clearly uh, what we have over here is also customized solutions for various verticals whether it's healthcare when a patient is walking into the hospital how the doctor is able to communicate get alerts what are the apps that he is able to run from his mobility device right all that is adding up to the solution or how we are actually able to extend you know cloud from their particular workplace or business environment <clears throat> so if you just double click on the architecture underlying is the clear cut innovation that we have driven from the compute network and the overall uh, uh, san storage solution that we are offering customers today every bit in the entire portfolio today is reengineered redesigned and re-platformed to give you the cloud ready uh, platform and you know uh, be able to drive the applications on this platform in a much more efficient manner we have our uh, partners like we have a customized solution with emc the vblock solution or if you are having netapp the flexpod solution on how you know those are pre built customized uh, environments which you are able to extend your cloud platform and offer this as a service to your internal customers and then again uh, you heard in the video and uh, you know the cisco powered logo this is not a simple logo that we are giving to our service providers or we are giving to dimension data just like that you know the same set of standards that we drive within our cisco it data centers across the globe there are various audits individual you know streamlined compliance and you know a lot of tests that they have to pass before they actually get certified right so that is the assurance that we are giving a customer when they are saying that dimension data cloud is a cisco powered cloud there are a lot of individual audits that go there in terms of the standards that we uh, lay them for for that environment right and and clearly they are there you know in terms of our partners are able to monetize in this journey in terms of also offering a planning implementing and you know uh, delivering the services for you in a in a customized fashion 
gone are the days where you're looking at an SAP rollout of two years, you're able to deliver solutions much more faster in an efficient manner and at a lower cost, right? So that is the assurance that you have from a cloud service offering that we have with Dimension Data. So solutions enabling the cloud, as I mentioned, we have a huge portfolio, right from the mobility solutions to bring your own devices, how we are able to have a VDI solution on the cloud, and also some of the newer uh, uh, offerings today. 3D printing is something which is a newer technology, which is right now on the hype curve, but will become a reality as to what how the industries are going to take advantage of that as well. So clearly, uh, we have a clear-cut program in terms of a roadmap assuring you as to while you're offering or transitioning to this cloud, how Cisco and our partners are going to help you in this transition in terms of enabling and accelerating uh, your journey, right? So we are various programs today, uh, you know, whether it's uh, some of the service providers, Tata's or uh, Dimension Data and all, is the clear-cut program that is outlined on how we are, uh, this, they are able to participate and become a cloud provider. Some of us within the organization also said, how can I offer this a service to my uh, end customers? I would like to become a cloud provider myself. We have a corporate bank who is saying that with this, your solution, now I want to offer this to much smaller banks as a service, IT as a service, because obviously uh, I have the know-how, I have the IP, and I would like to them to leverage on my space, right? So if you look at the data and trend, really, Cisco is right out there in terms of delivering this cloud infrastructure and the complete solution, which is really propelling us in the uh, leader space out there. If you, if you double-click on the platform, as I mentioned, we have a complete unified approach we are not talking of any legacy blade or rack server or traditional silos of management that you used to do in the past, but really giving you that cloud platform in terms of the automation at the hardware level, automation at the software level, and giving you that orchestration and workflow capabilities that you need out of a cloud, right? So clearly uh, the asks were there, how do I simplify my current IT infrastructure, which is rigid? Each time a new application rollout happens, I have to configure my chassis, my blade, my admins have to spend those night outs, and it takes weeks to provision, right? So we've given customers a simplified, we've abstracted the identity from the underlying hardware to make it more programmatic, make it more uh, software intelligence driven, where you can extend the policies not just to one blade, one rack server, but across the thousands of servers that you plan to manage in your cloud environment. Again, as I said, cloud cannot be complete unless your network is intelligent. How do I ensure my bandwidth throttling, which are the application based on my you know, uh, seasonality, Diwali offers coming out, I want to prioritize my bandwidth so my low cost, or the other test and dev applications, or I'm able to drop the packets given that there's an oversubscription or issue around that. So the network has the innovation at various aspects uh, to give you that kind of uh, uh, intelligent uh, environment. Again, the apps as well. Most of us, we have a mix of legacy apps and the new apps that we plan to provision this year and next year. So we're offering you those capabilities which these apps are cloud ready, available from Cisco for you to simply deploy, right? Rapid provisioning, simplified infrastructure, these are the ask, and a self-service consumption model, while I've invested in my existing infrastructure, is a better way to do that. And we are actually giving you that set of uh, environment where you are now able to standardize your environment and scale them better in terms of creating those building blocks, right? I do not have the time to cover this in this session, but each of these you know, pillars go a lot deeper in terms of how we are offering the technical or the uh, innovations at compute, network, storage aspects, right? So uh, able to deliver the architecture flexibility and uh, simplified management. I do not need to have multiple panes of glass to manage my heterogeneous environment. Is there a simplified way to do it? The, uh, that's the, what we're offering through our solutions to our customers today, right? So intelligent, converged infrastructure. I do not need those set of cables, you know, managing SAN, LAN, WAN differently. It's all collapsed into the innovation that we're driving. And we are here to really take away some of the problems, really remove them and not move them. How do I manage the complexity now that even virtual complexity is coming? Physical and virtual is something which is a reality. 
I will have to deal with it. And there are ways in how we are actually giving this solution in a simplified fashion to customers. And what we've done is we really re-engineered our architecture to give you that platform which is cloud private and hybrid cloud ready. We already have solutions in place which allows, you know, most of the customers ask us, how do I transition my environment which was policy driven, you know, set of apps, is there a secure way of moving that to a, a public cloud environment? And the answer is yes, we have done this. And, you know, we are offering this through the uh, level of solution and the catalog that we've built, uh, which Naren is also going to be talking about in terms of this transition part to our customers. So the architecture has been engineered and designed for you to take care right at the ASIC level of every new application that you will be building on this cloud platform, right? And as I mentioned, network becomes even more critical from a bandwidth because now you're going to be accessing this application from your home, from your various mobility smartphone devices. What are the other efficient means to do it? And I should not be losing out on my performance, right? So is the multi-tenant architecture uh, scalability part of it? How do I scale? Is there a limit of 4,000 VLANs? How do I ensure that I move my VLAN limitation? Is there a way I can extend my application from one data center to the other, X, retaining the same IP address? So mobility around apps, right? Same as what we have in your mobile number portability. So again, app aware, we're announcing this month in terms of the app aware or app centric interface, where the application will be more aware of their interfaces using the Cisco architecture, which will allow you to manage your virtual physical networks in a much more simplified fashion. And obviously the experience, security being one, we do not compromise on that because we are laying the foundation as to how we are keeping your environment more secure. And if you look at your journey in terms of even your uh, data center network, most of you all, if you, if you were to survey or in the workshop we'll discuss, you probably are in the first stage of the journey where you've done a bit of physical networking. But the, the idea is to really move towards an intelligent network. We are offering dynamic fabric path which allows you to extend your uh, network to multiple data centers, multi-geo locations, at the same time giving you the resiliency that you demand out of that network, right? Plus big data, Hadoop, these are putting more pressures on the network as to how you're going to be using your network more efficiently. And that's eventually giving you the interconnects or the hooks into your public uh, enterprise environment as well, right? So we have some very good use cases. I'll just quickly move ahead in terms of how you're able to manage, scale, and perform better. And we're offering and you're, you're from various verticals and different backgrounds. And for this, I mean, the solutions are pretty customized to take care of your use cases, right? As I mentioned, in terms of the overall stack, the Cisco One platform, our R&D or engineering at every product, whether it's firewall, network, security or whichever and you are using most of our products in your data center are engineered to give you that level of cloud centricity and the ease of management how you're able to control all of these components in a much more simplified fashion and this is the same thing what we extended in the uh, dimension data uh, cloud solution offering that uh, we're going to Nareen is going to be talking about today right so uh, collaboration, I mean, the flexibility is out there and you've been using some of our solutions. So just talk to us or, you know, through the workshop, we'll be able to give an insight as to how we are helping you in this transformation as well. Security being the biggest thing as to how do I secure my environment? Uh, my auditors are not up to speed. So when I talk that my application is running on a cloud, they're saying that you prove, I mean, they still don't understand as to what are the things, is it a physical, is it a virtual environment? So you really need to uh, give them the assurance. So we have, whether it's SAS 70, PCI standards, and whatever security levels are out there in your current environment, those same are extended from a public or your app running on an external uh, compute environment as well, right? So if I, if I look deeper at every component, whether it's edge within the connectivity, how it's going to uh, look at it, we have security deep down right from the hardware to the software in place, right? So uh, that's really giving you the advantage from a security standpoint that whatever you are managing can be now managed better, if not worse, from, from this new platform, right? 
We also have a detailed cloud strategy where customers engage us during the define and assessment phase to the someone who is already wanting to manage, saying that I have limited staff, I do not have enough skills. How can you help us manage this entire cloud infrastructure? Right? So we, along with Dimension Data, have the skills. If you want some of those advanced skills Nareen is going to talk about, is really building you this model or transition you to a complete hybrid model, which will obviously uh, benefit you from the next years to come. Like I mentioned, the transition is happening fast. By 2017, most of us would have taken some path onto the cloud. And, that, and even today, if you're looking at, you have a multi-geo, multi, most of us have some MNC office in different geography. You are able to extend, like you know, some of us ask us, how do I ensure that if I'm on a particular service provider, is there a way to transition if my exit clause, if I'm not happy with that marriage? How do I ensure that there are not too much of heartaches or pain when I move the application? So we have a centralized, in terms of this is the worldwide uh, service provider, and all are powered with the same set of standards that Cisco drives today, right? This is what we've done in-house of the dimension data environment, where they are able to give you the cloud services in a much more efficient manner. Because it's a multi-tenant architecture, provisioning times, scale up, scale up, uh, uh, bursting, those are the things that they're looking at. So how they're able to do it is because of the underlying infrastructure which is built on our technology, right? So UCS, Nexus, Catalyst, the firewalls, everything is built and they were all working in tandem to give that level of flexibility and performance that they are able to extend to your environment. And this is a case study of our own Cisco data center worldwide, we had offices. So we started our journey way back where provisioning used to be six to eight weeks, which is now actually come down to 15 minutes. Internal Cisco data center IT is running multiple applications that we demand from a, being a global uh, MNC. So various applications, how do I ensure that I'm able to provision that in a much more efficient manner is something which we've demonstrated and there is a clear cut ROI on that, right? So clearly why you're here today is put in terms of give you a thought process that cloud is a reality and you are bound to adopt it. If not, you know, not now, maybe in a slow and state manner. It's time to think big, uh, see big, but at the same time, small, start small. That would, that's what I would say. And obviously, we have a strategy in place. We have, the, the case study brings out a lot of use case that you are facing or you can relate to in your environment and how you will be able to transition this with our partners and uh, with Cisco being your key business partner in this journey as well, right? So, uh, I would just like to conclude my session and pass it on to Naren, who will give you an insight as to what we're talking from the MCP platform itself. Yeah, thank you.